special, any camping trip, any... Go ahead. Go. Court. I, I, uh, I have a fond memory of many, I guess there would be four or five of us cousins. Uh, in the motor home, the Potter Park, in your Lansing, I think. We had a great day at the zoo and doing all the stuff, canoeing, whatever. And then when it's time for lunch, we had hot dogs on the grill, and it was price of chips. And uh, he brought out the condiments, and then there was this one in particular that I found kind of puzzling. And I asked you about it, and you said, oh yeah, that's, that's, that's cheese for your hot dog. I said, no, Grandma, it says squeeze. <laughs> and it was butter. <laughs> and, and I I could see it in your eyes that you felt terrible. So <laughs> trying to be a team player, I took it for the team. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a uh, butter dog. Covered everything, Kathy. Oh, come on. <laughs> but one thing, uh, being the oldest and being the first going through school, one of the things I always remembered, you know, how much I loved school <laughs> and always did all my assignments way ahead of time. <laughs> but there was a few of them that I would come home one day and after I had written them out, they had to be typed and spell checked. So about, oh, usually about after supper time, I would say to mom, yeah, I gotta have this typed out. So she would stay up hours in the morning, typing out all my assignments, getting everything all done, and then have it all ready for me when I went to school. <laughs> that was the best memory. I don't think she did it for any of the other kids. No, she didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was thinking, Kurt, maybe she, he had a little learning deficit, so that's why she did it for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, <shoot. laughs> I'm <so> jealous. I understand. <laughs> but no, she did teach us many things, and things I hope that I pass on to all my kids and grandkids, and uh, it's been awesome. I still enjoy coming over there every every couple days, have a cup of coffee. Yeah. You know, you're the greatest, Mom. Thank you. Well, I want to I want to say uh, that I feel very privileged to be number two. <laughs> <laughs> Being number two is not so bad. <laughs> Being number two, I got to be uh, in a stage where we had Potter Produce yet, and I got to work with Grandma all the time. And um, she was always, like when you said Peacemaker, that's a big deal, because she was always, if Grandpa would be harsh on me, she would always give me just a smile. And that would just warm my heart. Then you were always so loving and caring for me, except for the fire truck incident. <laughs> Beyond that, I'm not going to talk about that story. It only really makes me mad. You better explain. You better but, explain. Well, a lot of people who don't know. my brother and I both got fire trucks. And his. One and two, two and three. I remember it vividly, so I must have been a little bit. This is why number two is never good for him. Yeah. <laughs> my brother got his, and I got mine, and I looked at his, and his could do all kinds of things <laughs> make noises and everything else, and mine did nothing. <laughs> and I was so angry because I wanted to be a fireman. What was I doing for a while? I was actually a fireman. You were for a while, right? That's how much I love fire. And I'm like, this is a ripoff. <laughs> and I ran, I stormed out of the room. But another Christmas goes by, and I got the, I forget even what it was, but it was this big thing that had to be put together. And you spent hours with me putting that thing together. And it was so awesome. There she was, just sitting on, on the floor, putting this whole thing together. And I, lo I love that. I love that about you and your heart. And it, it makes me proud to be a grandson. And uh, I love you very much. 